Hey, so welcome back. And this is another daily code problem. So today it's called reorder data in log files. And it's a medium level problem. But this one's actually a pretty good one. Oh, I don't want to show you that just yet. I would say that this one's much more like what you would expect to be seeing like on the job. A lot of people typically complain about how um, unreliable these are when you're doing coding interviews, like for actually measuring how you perform on the job. But I find this one actually like relatively fair. Um, I think it's a fair problem. And so I think that's why, actually no, it's actually terribly uh, downvoted. But I think it's fair. I, I like it, I like this one. Regardless, maybe that's because I solved it, but um, let's go ahead and do it. So for this one, essentially, you're given a bunch of logs and they fall under two categories. There's letter logs and digit logs. And so the way you know it's a letter log is if all of these are um, letters. And so this one here, you can see that clearly they're not all letters, um, but this one is. The reason why you still consider this one a letter log, despite it having this one here, is that it's actually split up into two halves. So there's like a key. That's how I'm thinking of it as anyways. This is like the key. And then the rest of them are the values. Okay, so it's essentially just an array of logs. And so you can have a letter log if all of the values are letters and you kind of disregard any numbers in the key. Now, you can also say, okay, there's also digit logs, and that's just basically all the words, except the identifier uh, consists of digits. Okay, and so this one in this case is a uh, digit log. Okay, and so essentially what we want is we want to output these logs, but in a particular sorted order. And so what this is, is basically we want the digit logs to come last and so we want to output them at the very end and essentially we're going to maintain the relative ordering and so whatever order they come in we want to output them in the same order but after all of our letter logs and then for our letter logs essentially for these we just want to sort them uh, lexicographically i hate that word um, and essentially if the contents are the same then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort them by their identifiers or what I call them keys. Okay, so essentially, once again, uh, we're gonna sort them, or actually this is a, a digit log, this one here, we're gonna sort them by their values. Say we're sorting this one and we're comparing it with this one. And then if, say, they had the same contents, then we would sort them by their identifier, which is the first one here. Okay, so it can be kind of challenging, but I think this is really good for practicing your kind of Python skills. And so essentially, how I thought of it is, okay, the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is decide whether it's a letter log or digit log. So uh, step one, oh, step one, split into the two log types. After that, we just want to parse them independently. Luckily, the digit log is very straightforward. So for this one, if it's a digit log, we're just going to create an array and just kind of append it to the list. Because what you would expect is we're gonna have a result, which is some array here, and we're returning it at the end. And so all that we have to do is we'll have some array called digit log, which is initially an array, and so whenever we see that, okay, this is uh, a log with integers as values, then let's just append it to this uh, digit log and it'll just maintain the ordering. So you don't really need a complicated data structure for it. So basically, if it's a digit log, just append it to our digit log list. And so essentially, this is just going to be appended at the very end. And that's as simple as that gets. The kind of more complex one is then, okay, if it's a, a letter log here, if letter log, let's process it. And so for this, once again, we're doing it by uh, let's go graphically based on their values. Otherwise we break the um, tie using their key. And so to do that, what you can do is 
how I thought of it is I want to make like a initially I thought of a hash map but it's not quite that it's kind of a a, a uh, not a pair but a, a tri pair of okay I'm going to store the values okay so the contents and then next to it I'm going to store the uh, key here and so I'm kind of splitting the key to come after the values and then I'm marking the index that it arrived in okay and so this is going to allow me so that I'm going to pen this into basically an array here and so then I just sort it and by sorting it this way we're essentially sorting it in this order so we look at the values then the key and we don't care about the sorting order of the index um, this is just used so that after we've sorted it, we can then have a reference to the actual uh, logs, um, like placing where it is in this array. Okay, so we can just quickly look up, uh, okay, this is index whatever two, we'll just pull it from this logs array. Okay, so I know that's a mouthful. I think the code is a little self-explanatory, so um, let's get into it and I hope that helps. So, we already explained the digit log here, but we also want this uh, letter log, which we can just kind of format it similar way here, where we just have letter log, digit log, and it's also an array. And so what we're gonna do here is then we say, okay, let's go ahead and figure out which type these are. And so we can just iterate through these logs one by one and downstream we're going to need that index like I just explained so we'll grab that as well so let's enumerate on these logs and so all that we want to do first is split between these two log types so we say okay if this log has a number in it we want to go down this path and to do that we'll outsource it to like a helper function here like has num and it will just have some input string so we're going to call that so has num this log and basically this is considering the case of the digit logs so in this case we're just going to simply append to the uh, digit log array this particular log and that's what's going to be appended at the very end of this otherwise we're going to process this as a letter log okay but well, we have to go ahead and fill in this array here or this function and so to do that all that we have to return and this is just some python magic here is any so essentially if any of these has a digit then we want to return has num true and so in that case we just say okay um, for every character so if this character is a digit uh, for every character in our input. So this is just going to return true if any of these are a digit. Okay, and so from there, all that we want to do is then say, okay, we want to process this letter log. And so in that case, um, we want to format that kind of key ordering that I said. So in order to do that, we just need to say, okay, let's go ahead and split this log so that we can have the key and the values independently. And so to get that, we just say, okay, this is going to be uh, vowels and it's just going to be the log and we're just splitting by all the spaces. And so one trick here is that we'll replace this vowels but when we do this, we only want to consider the contents because once again, we don't consider the key here. We only consider the contents of it, okay? I think they called it not key, but the identifier. So we want to ignore the identifier. And so from there, what we're going to do is then for our letter log, we just want to append first. We want to sort by their contents. And so that's going to be the vowels from one onwards but once again because we split this we want to make sure that we maintain their spacing and so to do that we just want to go ahead and join this here 
Great. And so from here, we also uh, want to go ahead and add their identifier, which is just the vowels at index zero. Okay, I think, oh, there. I didn't mean to move that bracket over. And so from there, the last thing that we need, like I said, is just the index so that we can maintain it later on, which we want uh, right here, actually. Okay, and so with that, this is pretty much all the core logic implemented. The last thing that we wanna do is actually sort it. And so to do that, all that we have to do is we'll just go through, so for every log in our sorted letter log, and I'll just move me up here, is basically we just wanna say, okay, if, or not if, Oh, let's see here, we just wanna grab their index. And so we just wanna append to our response, whatever sorted order they came in, but we're just gonna pull, pull from our logs array that value. So we wanna say logs at, and let's see here. So this is our logs, and it's gonna be our current log in our letter log but we just want the index. So essentially we're iterating through these values that we've been appending here. We're grabbing the index after sorting this log, letter log, and then we grab that index just to reference the kind of pre-manipulated or the raw data that was passed to us in this logs array. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that. Oh, uh, let's see here. Has no attribute is digit. Did you mean is digit? Yes, accepted and success. So yeah, that's uh, today's uh, leak code algorithm. So it's n log in time due to sorting, that's the bottleneck. But then also in the worst case, we could be appending everything uh, to these kind of uh, helper arrays that we're using, the digital log and the letter log. And so that's O of n space complexity. Okay, so once again, time complexity is n log n. The bottleneck is sorting and then space complexity is O of N for these helper arrays. But yeah, I hope it helped and uh, good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks for watching.